Hey guys, welcome back to yet another recipe video. It's that time of the year again. It is time for school-related YouTube videos. This video features some super simple, lazy vegan snacks to make when you come home from school or uni or work or whatever it might be. So obviously this is not just for students. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. For this first idea, we're making a super lazy berry and coconut ice cream sundae. That's what I called it. Is it really an ice cream sundae? I don't know, it's definitely a healthier version. First, we'll need some basic strawberry sorbet. This doesn't have to be by a vegan brand. I can highly recommend this one, by the way. It tastes super nice. And we're pairing that with some plain coconut yogurt. I love this combo since the sorbet is like super sweet and the coconut yogurt isn't, so it kind of balances it out. I sprinkled some desiccated coconut on top and finished everything off with some chopped up strawberries. It looks all melted like that because I took my time cutting the strawberries apparently. Just one of those nights when you want my back I don't want no love, you can have that back Next up, we're making something savory. We're making non-boring, lazy, mini hummus toasts um, in two different ways. First, get your favorite plain hummus. Go test out different brands to find the one that you like because all taste slightly different. One of my favorite brands is called Noah. Um, they got great hummus. This is not sponsored by them, even though um, I'm open to it. Combine one tablespoon of hummus with one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. For this first variation, we're mixing together this hummus sauce mm. with a quarter of a teaspoon of smoked paprika powder and one teaspoon of barbecue sauce. I don't know why, but this kind of tastes like cheese to me, especially if you combine this with some bell pepper. For some reason, it tastes like cheese. I don't know, I don't know. You gotta try it. For the second version, combine the same hummus lemon mix with one teaspoon of store-bought vegan pesto. The vegan store-bought pesto usually just lacks the parmesan, which will sub for the nutritional yeast. And it's so good! For a bread-free version, serve these up with basic veggie sticks. So like I said, red pepper, cucumber, celery, carrots. But to make the mini toasts, cut one piece of bread into quarters. and then heat up a pan to medium-high and let the pieces of bread brown for two to three minutes on either side. Top the bread off with the dips And that's it. If you want to make this for multiple people, you could easily double, triple, or quadruple the amount you make. You can serve it up with baked tortilla chips. And people will think that you made an entire dip by yourself when you just mix together like three ingredients or four. Next up, we're making frozen nut and chocolate bites. They're filled with protein, let me tell you. Start by boiling cashews in water for 30 minutes. Alternatively, let them soak in water overnight. Now drain them using your adorable tiny colander. Add those to the food processor along with raw almonds, oats, hemp seeds, a generous pinch of salt, two tablespoons of raw sugar, 
peanut butter, a bit of non-dairy milk, blended for 20 to 30 seconds or so until you get to this consistency, and also a dash of cinnamon. This stuff is ready to eat, so you could just munch on that or grab a small baking sheet, line it with parchment paper, This went into the freezer for at least one hour. Right before taking them out of the freezer, make sure to melt down some dark vegan chocolate, drizzle it on top, and it's gonna harden super quickly since obviously the bites are frozen. And that's it, there you go. You can store these in the freezer as well and have an even lazier snack. For this last idea, we're making my favorite, favorite smoothie at the moment. Vanilla Cherry Almond. A classic combo which I had never put in a smoothie before. To make that yourself, grab your blender and add frozen cherries. A heaping tablespoon of plain almond butter. One frozen banana just for the creaminess factor, you won't really be able to taste it. And vanilla, almond, or soy milk. This tiny one worked perfectly because it comes as one cup and it is pretty sweet, so the whole smoothie tasted like a milkshake. Hey guys, welcome back to... No, wait, this is the outro. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. For some reason, I always wear this sweater when filming my outros. So apparently this is my new theme now, I have no idea. I have more clothes than this, I promise. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little snack video. I hope that there was something in there for you that this could have been helpful in some way, shape, or form. This time I really tried to make the recipes as lazy as possible with as few steps as I could manage. <laughs> Definitely let me know in the comments how you think I did. One more thing, thank you so much to everyone who donated um, for last week's video. Not to me, but um, to this little GoFundMe that was for the people in Lombok and I got amazing, amazing feedback. They said that it almost doubled as soon as the video was out. Uh, so thanks to everyone who donated. Yeah, I really, really appreciate it. And that just does so much. They even are now talking about building houses for families because they got so much more than expected. I think the goal was to get like $1,500 or something. And now it's like over 6,000, I think. It's crazy. So thank you so much uh, once again. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Drove the gates, feeling anxious around 12 a.m. Yeah. Just move, but might move it all out again. This feel like deja vu. Swear last year my brain bought the same thoughts through.